Nick Kajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King. Welcome back to my channel. Today is leg day. I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. It is day 38 on the cut. I need to start giving weight updates. I had a comment recently that said you should give us updates on your weight. I'm not really telling, telling you guys on a daily or weekly basis how much I'm weighing right now, so I'm going to start doing that. Right now, I weigh 217 Point eight pounds. And I started in the 230s. I can't exactly remember what my starting uh, end of bulk weight was on day one of the cut, but it was in the 230s somewhere. It might, even, it might have even been in the low 240s. I'm not sure, but I think it was 230s. But right now I'm 217.1 pounds in the AM. Always weigh yourself fasted in the morning. That's your most accurate true test of your weight. Some people weigh themselves in the evening. That's not a true test of your weight. When you're full of water and food, your weight's going to be a lot higher in the evening than it would be in the morning when you first wake up. So weigh yourself fasted after you take a shit and after you take a piss. That's your true weight. So 217.1 pounds. I'm happy with that. I've lost a lot of weight in the first five weeks of cutting. And today's leg day. Leg day is... It's always one of the hardest days of the week. It is, it is for, most, for most gym bros around the world, leg day is always that, you know, one of the toughest days. I do enjoy legs, actually. When I first started training, I hated legs. I would, like, I'd, 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 I'd dread the day I had to go into the gym to train legs. Now that I've been training for over six years, I'm in my seventh year of lifting, six years and three months, I'm actually quite enjoying legs. I do like legs. You learn to grow with legs. You, you, you gain a love for an, an appreciation for legs the longer you train, I feel. When you first start training, you hate it, but the more you train, the more, the more you enjoy it. So yeah, today, leg day, I'm starting off with squats, as I always do, best leg exercise. I always start every leg day pretty much with squats, except near the very end of, the, of my cuts. I might take squats out or, or do them on a fortnightly basis every other week instead of every week at the very end of a cut, but I'm still at the starting middle part of the cut, so I don't need to do that. Starting, starting with squats, I'm going to do a heavy top set on four plates, 180 kilo, 405 pounds, for as many reps as I can get. I got four reps last week. And then I'm going to go down probably to like three plates and do slow negatives with like five second eccentrics, five second negatives, really, really slow, pause in the bottom, then go up focus mainly on hypertrophy. I'll probably do three sets of five on, on those squats very, very, with very slow negatives. Yeah, but feeling good, guys. I'm going to see you in the gym. I'm going to walk over to the gym now, get my jacket on. It's freezing outside here in England. I'll get my jacket on. I'll see you in the gym for, uh, for squats. I've already done my top set. I did four plates for three reps. 180 kilo for three reps, but I filmed it vertically for Instagram, so it won't be in this video. But if you go to my Instagram and TikTok, or TikTok, which I'll put in the description, you can see that set. But now I'm doing my back off sets. Three plates for five with a three second negative, very slow. Hypertrophy work, really controlling the weight. This is my second set of five. These belts, man, best belts on the planet by far. SBD, nothing beats them, nothing beats them.
look at that, con that control and how slow I go. It, it makes it way harder, way harder. When you can't use momentum, it's a whole different world. All right, I'll do one more set here. Then I'm gonna go and do some leg press. You've got to be a little crazy to keep showing up to the gym every single day and pushing yourself to, the, to these extremes. You've got to be a little lost in the head. You can't be all there. And you look at guys that train religiously week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out, for decades. You look at those guys, I've only been training six years, three months. I haven't missed a, I've never missed a session since I began. But if you look at the, the elite guys, a lot older than me, in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, that have been training for 20, 30, 40 years, it takes a different mindset to stay that consistent for that long. It takes a different mindset to give up your Friday nights and your Saturday nights for decades to, to get in here and, and, and intentionally choose to suffer and go through pain. It takes a different mindset. It's a lot easier to slide in to normality with the, the other 99% of the population and drink and go to pubs and go to bars and go to clubs and just get lost in that cyclical cycle they get lost in. It's a lot easier to do that until retirement and be part of that 99%. It's very hard to keep showing up. So if you're one of the few that, that, that shows up on the Friday nights, the Saturday nights, and, and is staying consistent for years, good on you because you're a rare breed. Okay, leg press now. I'm doing three sets here, 15 reps, again with a very slow negative, three second negative, slight pause at the bottom and then go up. I've done two sets already, this is my last set. 15 reps, the burn here is crazy. I'm not going too heavy, but because of the, the tempo and the high volume, it, it, the, the burn is crazy and it becomes hard even though I'm not doing that much weight. You don't need that much weight when you're going high rep. The, the heavy stuff has already been done with the squats. This now is more hypertrophy really just killing those fibers, just, just ripping those quads to shreds. I'm shattered, I'm absolutely shattered. Those leg presses took it out of me. Okay, I'm done with quads. Now, now I'm onto hamstrings. I'm only doing one hamstring movement. Lying hamstring curls. Four sets of 10 to 12 reps. When you do a lot of, remember, your, your hamstrings are working a lot when you deadlift and squat. I deadlift on back day, so my, I'm getting some hamstring volume in there. And when you do pause squats, your hamstrings are also firing a lot. When you're doing pause squats and normal squats, your hamstrings also work a lot on squats. So 
There isn't a great need for me to do too many hamstring exercises. One lying hamstring exercise, one hamstring movement, lying hamstring curls is more than enough volume. Four sets, that's, that's enough for my hamstrings. I don't need to be doing you know, two, three, four exercises on hamstrings, there's no need. This is more than enough stimulus. Everything in the gym is about mindset, guys. It's, it's, it's all about mindset. Every, every, time, every time you're in the gym, if you're like me, I'll be in the gym and I'll be oh, two, two exercises deep and I want to quit. I wanna, every gym session, I want to quit. Every single time I've ever gone to the gym, I feel like quitting. I feel like walking out that door and being like, fuck this, I can't do this, I'm tired. I don't want to do that. I just want to lie down, I don't want to do this. Every gym session, I think that. It's about controlling your mindset in the gym, being able to enjoy the suffering, enjoy the pain, enjoy the hardship, and just and be mentally strong. Mike Tyson says it best. Do the things you hate as if you love them. Do the work you hate as if you love it. Be able to control those moments when you're, when you're in the gym and you feel like quitting. You have to have that strong mentality to keep pushing. And I love the gym. You know, don't, don't get me wrong, I do love the gym. I, 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 get, I gain great enjoyment from the gym. I do love being here. But there are moments where I feel like just saying, fuck this and I want to quit. And you've got to have that mindset, that, man that mentality to just push through and keep going. It's time for calves now. All right, ladies, let's, let's get this show over and done with. Calves, I'm doing Smith Machine calf raises on a, on a 25 kilo plate. High rep, 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 sets of 20 reps. When it comes to calves, my calves don't respond to like 10, 12 reps. For me, I've got to go high volume on calves, so sets of 20 is always what gets me feeling that my calves, that mind to muscle connection in my calves doing high rep. Low rep doesn't really work on my calves, so I always do high rep. It's been a tough workout, guys, it has. Saturday night workouts can sometimes be tough. You're coming in the gym, it's been a tough, tough week of training, and there's, sometimes there's, there's, you know, these workouts can be a slog and they can be tough to get through. You just gotta keep pushing. Not every session is going to be perfect. You've got to, sometimes you've got to come in the gym and you, you know it, it might be a bit of a shitty workout, but just get, get it done. A shitty workout is better than no workout. Showing up is better than not showing up. So today was a decent workout. It wasn't my greatest workout. I, sometimes I'm like, I maybe could have executed that set better. My technique could have been a little bit better on that set of squats. I could have maybe paused a little bit longer. I could have made the, the, the tempo a little bit better. Not every session is picture perfect. So just come in, do the best you can on that given day and keep moving forward. A shitty bet workout is better than no workout. An average workout is better than no workout. So just come and get the work done. All right, let's go. That last set there was 25 reps. 
All right, the workout's done. Guys, I, I say this quite often. I've got a small channel, small viewership. I'm not Sam Sulek. A lot of people call me a Sam Sulek ripoff. I want to be Sam Sulek. I'm not Sam Sulek. I'm not a big content creator. I'm a small content creator. We, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to build a following. I'm trying to make a positive impact. I'm trying to... to my long-term goal really is to do fitness full-time. Obviously, right now, I can't afford to do fitness full-time. I'm doing a master's degree. I want to get to the point where... All I have to do every day is go to the gym and inspire people. So any kind of support, support you give me, any kind of engagement with my content, I really do appreciate it, man. Anyone that posts a comment or gives me a like, I don't get many likes, I don't get many comments, but anyone that engages with my content, I want to say thank you very much. It really does mean a lot. Because <sighs> I do put a lot of work into this and I don't get much back from it, but I've just got to keep working. I've just got to keep creating content, keep trying to inspire, keep trying to get better and keep staying consistent, most importantly, guys. That's the workout, leg day done and dusted. Another day on the cut. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of the cut. I make a video every single day. Leg day over and out. Nick Kajazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And as always, long live King Charles III. And God bless Sir Winston Churchill.